Oh. To following Black's ad. And hopefully you can see the game. There we go. And last week we played the Black Sad and we are going to continue this week too. Let's go to the game. Last time. And of course we are recapping this uh, what happened. There's this cool montage of cartoons. And of course I have to voice act. Co try to bear with me. So let's start. And I'm very sorry about this. I'm not very good pronouncing English words and barely can speak Finnish to own language. But anyway, hopefully you can understand anything. It started like every tragedy for life itself. Perhaps both. Squeak with scream. It is going well. Um, okay, see, so woman cat or something of course I have to speak with her voice too woman voice okay, let's try that <coughs> okay. okay no my father Joe Don a gym owner he let himself two days ago <laughs> the same day Bobby Fiel most promising athlete disappeared. It's that Rottweiler in the middle picture, that boxer. If he doesn't show up in time for the fight at the Madison Square Garden in two weeks, we have to close my dad's gym for good. Oh my god. And she doesn't care if his dad is dead, but the gym. That is very suspicious. Anyway. Next scene. Uh, at the gym now. So what do you say, Mr. Black Sad? <coughs> I'm sorry for you lost, Mr. Mrs. Dunn. I hope I don't regret this. I was hell bent on solving this case. And hell would be understatement. My first witness wasn't having the best of days. Is there anything I can do for you? Hmm. Could you please move? You are blocking the fear. <laughs> oh, washing. Something. In my haste, I had to forget something important at the office. So he go to get the, or we go to get the lockpicks. What he forget there? My secret weapon fallen under the couch. Roofed. And off I went. Content in knowing that I could finally commit my first crime. So we are going to open the locker on the gym. Where is the Poppy Yell locker is. And we need to go in. So we have to rogue in. So hopefully... Let's continue with the where I left the investigation. Okay. Okay. Yes. Bobby Yell's place was on the way, so I decided to drop by, lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. Okay, we are going to Poppy Yell place. Uh, I see. I didn't know that. I was thinking I'd go into the gym. I had already searched the place to no avail. But a good detective would have better luck. I know it might not seem like it, but. Oh! oh. When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. It's only fair to show some gratitude. At least in the novels. Hi. Oh. 
We lost. You know you are. We have to be more faster. There we go. Well, well, well. Long time no see. You actually did it. You ruined my life. But trust me, you'll pay for this now that my partner is sleeping. Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. <sighs> Now, <laughs> how about this? For every wrong answer, I'm going to give it to you with this club. Deal? Hey, couldn't we just talk it out? Wrong answer. First, well, second question. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, there's something new. Next to the icon of each cat sense hearing, sight and smell. A counter will show the number of stimu stimuli? Stimuli muli that can be perceived in that particular movement. The help bar in the lower part of the screen shows the related controls and their functions uh, okay one here two eye and two smell maybe do we have to push something a shamrock is he irish okay I can change those. Should start to swell any moment now. Okay, I have something now. All righty, let's try again. What the hell are you doing here? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, right? Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer! But I was wrong. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? Okay. I know your friend Colbert, and his wife. Now he wants to insult you. All right then, he's all yours. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. You'll be sorry for what you did to me, pal. Desmond. We caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. <laughs> I have 
it's there. Get a little bit beaten up. Beaten up. Okay. No. Oh. Practicing here. Just talk. Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. Uh, you'd better ask the cleaning lady. She found the body. It should be her ship down at Sam's diner. The place is close by. Take the main door and follow the street. <laughs> Just wait till you see her. You're in for a treat, my friend. Joe Dunn. Ask about him more. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Yep. Joe really believed in them. All of them. Oh, he played the saxophone too. The the owner who hanged himself. We talking about him. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's talk. Sonia Dunn. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> Take on Sonia more than friends. Hmm. Yes, it doesn't seem like too upset, you should ask. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. <laughs> he have very strange likes. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known her since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. Yeah, I don't know what age they are. <laughs> or the same age, maybe. Because be friends with her so long time. I think he's in the friend zone. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Yale. Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. Apartment, I want to ask that. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, yeah. you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no d detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. Ah, oh, that is suspicious. So, uh, Bobby is uh, with the booking. He have, I think he have a gambling problems. And this gorilla who, who is, I don't remember his name. I think he's doing something with the bookings. Ah, oh, the ring. The boxing games. They are, uh, you know, framed. They pay to the boxer to lose or win. Well, usually they lose. That's so the bookings can get more money from the from the game, the boxing game, example. And God, I know. And he's one of them. He's taking money bribes of that that kind of thing that he lose the game, so he get the money from the bookings. And if the Bobby Yale doesn't want to do that, so the booking start to come to having visits to him and talk with him, that he will do the same thing what this gorilla is doing. 
probably. Um, past. Let's ask past. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They are more gangs than people. Okay. He know. I, I assure he knows something. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever, ever, Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. Okay, career. If Yale's gonna fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. Let's ask about the racial issues. We have found the, uh, the writings on the wall, on the locker room. The bad words. Someone doesn't like someone, people. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... Yeah. I better let you get back to your drills. All right. We are going to the... Do anything new? We are going to the... The, 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 the locker room. There we are going. Anything new? Changing room. Yeah, there is something. What is... Oh my god. He has some kind of a... Flop. Smells like... Paint. Oh. Is a red paint, not the right paint. That the proud South. Hmm. Yeah. I I think we found the person who write those words on the wall. This club. Uh. That is very clever to find the white colored animals for that. Oh, we go. There we go. Back. Else. Blues collected allow new education. Okay. Um, how we do? F1. Uh, works. For all Leary has the Why is she want to find the uh, Poppy Yell more than try to find the uh, his father's killer or she think his father kill himself so she doesn't think that I think she's love triangle. Sonia like uh, Poppy Yell, but the, the gorilla whose name is uh, Jake, who is uh, okay. I like. Let's see. Let's play the game first. Then me saying anything. 
this is the waitress or the cleaner lady. We have to go to see her. And was asking questions. Desmond O'Leary. His men guard Yale's place can't go there for now. Yep. They are trying to find the Bobby L too. Anyway, we move here. Please. Oh. It's that. Change. What is? Oh, I I read into change hotspot. Oh, and uh, th 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 something. Let's see, author poems. Okay. Oh, and author poems. Abraham Greenberg. Is there? Okay. Your very own. Portable gym up for five high resistance brings boost your upper body at extra. There is a missing something. There. And there was one more. Okay. We'll weekly to very epictic photograph of the rhino and his lover who do the footprints on the gym belong to. Okay. That one. Uh, that one. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Yeah. Let's try to see that. One good reason not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? I think you're hiding something, Jake. I thought we were friends, John. Mm. Have me. Sometimes, <sighs> John, I can just punch you. Yeah, I'm correct. He's uh, uh, with the bookings thing, scam. Yeah, but there, who followed that works on for all Larry were where's the Samrock on his app label. Yeah, this gorilla have the Samrocks too, we see on the locker. That. that and there's paint stain on the gym floor, yes. That that Yep. Why do you have that pen, Jake? What mess are you in? Yes. I don't, I don't want to go to the locker again. <laughs> Gorilla going to kill me. I go there. Anything else? Do we find the cards? Find the alt cards? But it doesn't have any reasons why I try to find those. You see here, he's... Gorilla is pulling there. 
Hello. Are you there? You can't just see do you have more to pins? No. Go back. What do I ask? Okay, Jake. I told you! Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? I saw the shamrock in your locker. I know what it means. Okay. Let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? We're pals. I won't do a thing. But please, tell me the truth. Okay, I, I guess I should have said something. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job. And it's been a while. Then, O'Leary shows up and offers me a, 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 a bodyguard contract. What was I supposed to do? You could have said no. Yeah. Like you never take uh, shady business. I've done things like that. And worse, that I'm not proud of them. I've also said no more than once. This very morning, for example. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows. And I, I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract and paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? Dirty money. O'Leary pays you with dirty money, and you're part of a criminal organization. There's no two ways about it, but that's not what bothers me. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, please. Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it now. I was here the day Dunn died. Go on. I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. I left the damn thing in my locker. So, I decided to come in the back door. Joe had mentioned he'd been painting that afternoon, but I forgot. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Yale at the top of the scaffold. What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call up the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? See, I knew you'd be mad. Obviously. I'm sorry, John. I, I should have said something. You should have. Let's just say you owe me one, all right? You sure drive a hard bargain, John. All right. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. Yeah. Okay. I have a theory now. Um, let's go to here. Because I don't remember the, all of the names. So... Bobby Yell was, uh, they tried to, uh, this uh, Desmond O. Lyre tried to hire him to their booking things and losing the fight so the bookers can get more money off that, they can bet on him. So, but the, uh, let's see, the Joe Dunn hear about it. And he'd be angry to the Bobby Yell that he's doing it. So Bobby Yell say no, he's gonna, not going to do it. And so the Bookers, uh, no, he run away because the Bookers tried to find him from his home. So he's uh, hiding somewhere. And uh, Sonia Dunn, of course, is love in him uh, to the Bobby Yell, but Sonia doesn't know anything about the. Uh, what is happening? 
So that's why she tried to find him. So she doesn't know where is him. Because she hired me to find him. him the Bobby. So. Uh, so, so. I think the Jake, Eugene, Peter, of course the Jake just told me to be there, but I think he come there later with the Eugene and uh, the puppy jail was away already and he saw that they kill Joe Dunn because he's stopping the Bobby Yell do the fight. The losing the fight with the Al Stone. He was supposed to fight with the Al Stone and losing it. And so uh, so he's height. And Desmond or Leary doesn't know where he is. I'm very sure that the Pookers kill. I'm not very sure. I'm, I, I, okay, I'm not very sure that who killed the Joe Dunn. Still. But I know what is going to happen. I, Of course I can say that the Desmond O'Larry kill him. But it doesn't help. Because the, now the Bobby L is lost. He disappeared. No one kidnapped him. He is hiding until the fight all stone should know maybe where he is yeah okay i think we should go to upstairs to talk more there he is Miss Dunn, okay. can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Relationship with your father, they asked that. Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. My father, Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. Yes. I have to ask, how is she doing? Could you doing get along it? with Bobby Yale? Okay. Forget it. I wouldn't give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid gym his stupid fight is supposed to save. Happy? What do you know about the Jake? I want to know about that. What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends. So don't go down that road. The cleaning lady. What do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. Mm -hmm. What are Joe's documents? Seen looking what bills. Those papers you're going through. Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. God, she's she's asshole. Thanks. That's it for now. I get it. You don't like me. But there's something you need to know. She hired me. Ears. I don't like myself either. And it's no excuse for... That's good. Short and to the point. Oh my god. I want to say something to her. Thanks. That's it for now. Ah. 
was too slow. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. What's that? I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Hmm. But they're up, up there, it's us or something. Seemed like a happy family. Hey, who's the, on the corner? I see something. Ah, it's... Maybe it's a Joe Dunce. Hi. Finally, we found more. Cards. Poppy, Sonia, Sonia. Oh, yeah. Sonia and Poppy. Be like a, a brother and sister. Uh, the Bobby doesn't have her parents, and so he living there. Oh, okay, okay. I remember that fight back when Jake was coming up the ranks. Down the street, we go to interview the cleaner lady and to the bar. We try to find her. Mary Purnell, the person who found Dunn's body, works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that. Hey! Watch where you're going, you jerk! You looking for trouble, moron? You better watch it. Go to hell, man! You better not show your face around here! And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? Please, I need to find Bobby Yale as soon as possible. And I think you can help me. All right. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time, never raised his voice. If I asked for the day off, he even cleaned the gym. How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? I wouldn't know. I only saw him at the gym or right there. That was his spot. I think everyone liked him. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how you found Dunn's body? Well, I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. 
Oh, so you have keys to the gym. Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy morning. And then I saw him, hanging there, like a baby mobile over a crib. Then I think I panicked. When I calmed down, I called the police and waited outside. Sorry, that's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. Thanks, but I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was a long time ago. Maybe he simply had money issues. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but she looks like a smart girl, poor thing. What do you think about Jake Ostiambi? Who? Who's that? A big gorilla. Boxer, too. A friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh, yeah. I barely know him. I don't like how he looks at me. <laughs> Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How... how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I... I barely know him. Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? Regular. Regular. That'll do. Mm-hmm. You want fries? A drink? No, that's it. Okay. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. One burger to go, Sam. Okay. Her handwriting is nice and neat. Smells tasty. My pal is going to lick his chops. They look puffy and tired. Sleepless nights, hectic days, or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. Look. Her neck. Smells like... Cinnamon. No. Cinnamon and burgers. Okay. Cinnamons. That's the key. Your burger is ready. Take a long time. We go to play the darts at the same time. All right, I'll let you enjoy your meal. Four people used the back door that very same night. What? Huh? Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> Very kind of you. Shame it 
Didn't have any cheese, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I should take the cheese. Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> first, first, first person. Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Gorilla? The second person. Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, Ungrateful bastard. Then, he threw something in the trash, and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change, huh? I mean, <laughs> I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for God's sake. <laughs> third person. Who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was a... About 30 minutes after the second person came out, whoever it was threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. <laughs> there. I wonder what it's like to be blind. Would I cope? No. Blind and legless. How does he get by? Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Could he have been a train conductor? There's nothing else here. Nope, let's go back. Okay. Um, and there the cart. That's the There's that a chest is. expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. So oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. You were acting yeah. a bit strange before, but now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, and hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can in the back. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. What a night! Okay, thank you. Should we look again? We already look. look let's look again. Let me look the spring thing. No. We already look him. Thanks. That's all for now. Thanks. Yeah. Who's collected all of the new... Oh, well, uh, we have to look that. First. So... Someone threw the chest expander in the trash. Who do the footprints at the gym? Yeah, it's... This 
the puppy jail have the and that. Yep. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Yeah. We already know that. Anyway, we can stop here playing maybe. And we continue next Saturday playing the Black Sad. And, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. And see you next Saturday. Same time. The same game. Let's play. Go back. And have a nice day. And I already say that. Bye.